Okay, so hey guys, I am going to do um, apple crisp in the crock pot. So this is what I'm going to do. I took six apples. I have some already peeled in, in my crock pot, but I'm going to peel the rest of these. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of regular sugar. You're going to need a half of a cup of butter, some brown sugar, some regular flour. I'm using 50-50 um, flour, half wheat, half white. You're going to need some oats and some cinnamon and that's pretty much about it what i'm going to do is just peel these potatoes and this is just how i do it because i don't have one of those core things which i kind of want to get one but um, i'm just going to peel it like this and then i'll come back to you when i have all of these peeled <laughs> my apples and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice mine. Uh, make sure you leave out the core. are in the crock pot we're just going to take our regular sugar and we're going to sprinkle that all around on our apples and that's a fourth a cup of sugar regular sugar and then I'm taking um, some cinnamon and we're just going to sprinkle that on there as well however much you guys like about a teaspoon or so um, flowers we're going to use three-fourths cup of flour I'm using this kind. You can use really whatever you want. So one. Okay. So three cups, three fourths of flour. Okay. And then with the flour, we're going to use our brown sugar. You're going to need three fourths cup of brown sugar as well. Add three fourths of our oats. small pieces and add in our mixture. Okay, so here is our apple, cinnamon, and sugar, and here is our oatmeal mixture. We're going to mix this all on top and pack it into the top. cinnamon on top of mine and we're going to cover with a lid and we're going to cook this for about three hours and um, don't stir it or anything until about three hours then you can check it uh, cobbler it smells amazingly good I'm going to keep on high for three hours so I will show you what it looks like um, after we come back it doesn't look like anything now but it smells amazing so um, cook it on high for three hours so Okay, so mine has been cooking for about three hours, and this is what it looks like. I did take some out, and I took it over to my mother-in-law, but um, 
this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, it's actually really good. And I sprinkled a little bit more brown sugar on top of mine. Um, and then I mixed it back in because it, it just, I don't know, it needed a little bit more sweet like after it comes out. So hopefully you guys try it. It's super easy. And if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely just ask. And thanks for watching. You guys take care.